going to show you how to modify the Photo Deox M42 to EF adapter to work in conjunction with the Metabone Speed Booster on either a GH4 or GH5. So there's root of this issue is that Metabone states that if you use M42 lenses in conjunction with the Metabones on a GH4, that it could cause issues and possibly cause damage to the Metabones itself. The lenses may not be compatible. The issue is that the Photo Deox adapter is meant to work in conjunction with M42's beginning into electronic things such as auto aperture, I think was the big one, so that you could still use those features on modern cameras. So they made it so that it could essentially conduct electricity from the camera to this. Problem is that doesn't really work with the Metabones and how it's set up. So I first tested it without. I would attach my lens, put it on the Metabones, and all of a sudden I'd lose my image. There'd be no image on the screen. I could shoot for a little while and then boom, image out. Didn't matter whether I put my Takamar 50mm M42 on the manual or automatic aperture, it would just short. I didn't know what was going on because I didn't hear, know what the issue was, but once I took the lens off I could see. There was some scorch marks essentially from a conducted electricity short. So you can see how that's really bad. That could damage your camera, that could damage your lens, and that could damage the um, photo, the Metabone Speed Booster. Photo DX thing is essentially just a piece of metal with threads, so it's not that complex. So to solve that issue, we have to essentially stop the Photo Deox from conducting electricity between the lens and the adapter and thus camera. So let's get started. Okay, first things first, the tools you're gonna need for this job are scissors, electrical tape, X-Acto knife, or something similar. And cardboard or something else to cut. The first step is to take the electrical tape and put three strips on the side of the photo deox that would connect to the Metabone Speed Booster. You want these strips to completely cover the surface, the round surface. You want to lay them as close together, they can slightly overlap, but you're really trying to get as flush as possible. You want this to be thin so that it doesn't actually change the ergonomics of the adapter itself too much. A slight overlap is okay though. Next up, you're gonna take the X-Acto knife, you're gonna do the easier part of the cuts. You're gonna flip this thing over and you're gonna stick the X-Acto knife into the circle and just using the filter itself as a guide, you're going to cut a circle around, cutting out all the electrical tape that would be covering up the opening that would allow the light to travel through the lens into the adapter, into the camera. It, you have to be pretty precise on this, so cut it closely. Next, flip the adapter back over and you're gonna do the exact same thing, tracing the outer circle line with the X-Acto knife. Using, again, the Photo Deox adapter as a guide, you're going to cut all of that until you have, essentially, a perfect electrical tape donut covering the entire surface of that. And once you're done with that, you're done. You can now use any M42 lenses with the Photo Deox in conjunction with the Metabones. You obviously won't have any use of the electronics of those M42 lenses, but I don't even know if they'd be any good. That's pretty old school. But now you can use M42 lenses without that issue that Metabone states you can have. Um, I've been using the Takamar 50 millimeter 1.4 on this setup quite a lot. And on a, I did a shot a recent music video that I used some of it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out. 
Um, I know the GH4 is kind of outdated, but it's still a good camera and it should be the same for the GH5 for those who are using that. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more videos and please like, hit that like button if this helped you out and subscribe. Thank you guys and we'll see you later.